The biggest construction projects in Uganda. Uganda is continuously investing in its infrastructure. The country is full of modern high-rise buildings and roads. If you left Uganda 10 years back, you would be pleasantly surprised by what you see today. Uganda has beautiful modern attractions like the Kampala Entebbe Expressway, the Pearl of Africa Hotel, the Northern Bypass, the Suspended Bridge in Jinjia, to mention but a few. Every year comes with the closure and commencement of big construction projects. Here are the highlights of 2022. The AGA Khan University Hospital Kampala The AGA Khan University Hospital will be a private, tertiary, teaching, and referral hospital. This hospital is a fruit of the extensive research on the disease burden and healthcare needs of the people of Uganda. The study's findings helped the AGA Khan Foundation develop the hospital designs and plans, which comply with the Kampala City Urban Planning Authority guidelines. The President of Uganda, Yoweri Kakyoda Museveni, and His Highness the AGA Khan laid the foundation stone of this hospital in December 2015. The AGA Khan University Hospital will also teach nurses, midwives, graduate and postgraduate doctors, and surgeons, who will fill the great need for trained healthcare professionals in Uganda and improve the country's healthcare status. The construction of the teaching complex was to start in 2020 and end in 2022. It is on a piece of land in Nagawa donated by the government of Uganda. The first phase will include 150 beds, which will increase to 600 beds upon completion of the second phase. It is a modern hospital designed by top architects worldwide to provide health professionals with highly functioning spaces and deliver the best care. It is going to have the state-of-the-art medical equipment like MRI and CT scans with the latest modern medicine practices. It will also provide advanced medical care and surgery, including cardiology and cardiothoracic surgery, cancer-slash-oncology treatments, women and child health, stem cell and regenerative medicine, neurology and minimally invasive surgery. It is a world-class hospital that will serve Uganda and Africa, reducing the need to fly patients out of the country for complex surgeries and treatments. The Kampala Flyover Project The 59 million US dollar Kampala Flyover Project was a development initiative funded by the Japanese Integration Corporation Agency JICA, and the government of Uganda to reduce traffic in the city due to the narrow roads in Kampala. Motorists living 30 kilometers from the city spent more than three hours in traffic jams before arriving at their destinations, especially during peak hours. This option provides alternative routes to and from the city that decongest roads and ease traffic. The flyovers will connect to the proposed Kampala Jinjia and Kampala Mpiji expressways. The Kampala flyover project is in two phases. The first phase's proposed completion time was 2021. It involves adding lanes on the half a kilometer road from ShopRite at Queensway towards Katwe's side, constructing the Nsambia underpass at the end of the clock tower, constructing the Queensway flyover to connect Queensway to Mukwano Road via the Nsambia underpass, improving the Nsambia Road, Mukwano Road, and part of Gaba Road, constructing the 500 meters long clock tower flyover. Constructing a circular pedestrian footbridge and reconstruction of the clock tower at the junction periphery. The second phase will cost about 175 million US dollars and will begin after completing the first phase. It will include constructing the Kitgum House flyover to link the Jinjia and Yusuf Lowell roads to Mukwano Road. Although the COVID-19 lockdown delayed some construction projects, it did not interfere with the construction of the Kampala flyover project. Construction has been going on with adherence to the COVID-19 standard operating procedures. Kampala Northern Bypass Phase 2 This development is to increase the capacity of the Northern Bypass by upgrading the 17.5km road to a dual carriage standard. The construction will reduce motor vehicle congestion, travel time, and the transport-slash-fuel costs that motorists incur in traffic jams. The European Union European Investment Bank, and the government of Uganda funded this project and awarded the contract to Mota Angel. 
as of 2021, it is at 86% progress. The Tyranyi Palace Akamankalai Kumi Road Project This 112.8 km road project is funded by the Islamic Development Bank together with the government of Uganda. The Arab contractors are making good on their construction progress. This road connects four districts in eastern Uganda through Tyranyi, Palasa, Kamankoli, and Kumi. It will boost businesses in eastern Uganda by easing the transportation of goods. Eastern Uganda has minerals, livestock, produce, raw materials like cotton, and products from Tororo cement and Uganda clays in Budaka. Completing this road will end the difficulty of using this road, especially on rainy days, easing communication and transportation in this region. Work started in 2019 and will be complete in 2024. The Hoima International Airport Project Also known as Kbale International Airport It will be Uganda's second international airport after Entebbe Airport, an achievement in itself. It is an initiative by the government to boost the development of the Albertine region and ease the transportation of Ugandan oil to external markets. The construction of the Hoima Airport started in 2018 in the Busruka sub-county, Hoima district, and will end in February 2023. SBC Uganda Ltd, a joint venture company between the United Kingdom-based Colas Limited and the SBI International Holdings of Uganda, is the contractor of this big project. As of 2021, with the earthworks, drainage activities, powering of cement, and paving the 3.5km runway almost complete, the airport is at a 55% completion rate. The contractors will embark on constructing the multi-purpose terminal building, cargo handling section, the airfield ground lighting system, fire station, car park, access road, control tower, and the taxiway, among other facilities. After constructing this airport, the people of Hoima should expect more development in their region and its surrounding areas. The Hoima International Airport has solidified Hoima's status as a city in Uganda. The Koboko-Yumbe-Moyo Road Corridor Project The 130.80 million US dollar Koboko-Yumbe-Moyo Road Project first made headlines in 2016 when President Yoweri Museveni promised the people of Koboko, Yumbe and Moyo to tarmac the road. This road corridor is the lifeline for the host and refugee population of Moyo, Yumbe and Koboko. It is a busy road that transports people and goods to and from these districts. This 105 km tarmac road corridor connecting Koboko, Yumbe will improve road connectivity in Uganda's select refugee hosting districts and increase Ugandan National Roads Authority's capacity to manage environmental, social, and road safety risks. Construction started in 2021 and is estimated to end in June 2025, with the World Bank funding. The New Parliamentary Building The Parliament of Uganda contracted Roko Construction Ltd to build a newly expanded chamber that accommodates 500 members and has ample car parking and office space for the legislators and staff. Roko Construction was unable to meet the July 2021 deadline, and as a result, the Parliamentary Commission extended the deadline by six months. This 206 billion shillings project will not only improve the sitting capacity for members of Parliament by creating more space for the increasing number of legislators, but it will also save on Parliament rent expenses. Industrial Park in Ajimani the 1.4 million US dollar industrial park situated on a farm institute in Yulia, Pakili Sub County, and Ajimani District is part of the government's industrial park project. The project is 90% complete. It would have been completed by now if it wasn't for the COVID-19 outbreak and unfavorable weather. It will boost development in the West Nile subregion. Many unemployed youths in the Mahdi sub-region will benefit from the jobs this facility brings. The government, too, will gain revenue from the industries that will reside here. The Mukwano Hillview Mall Mwienga This mall is an ongoing construction project by Mukwano Enterprises Ltd and constructed by Krishna Construction Co. Ugandan shopping enthusiasts should expect something good. Mukwano always delivers the best. The Marriott Hotel N Zambia 
This building project will increase service delivery in the hospitality sector in Uganda. It's in a prime location, opposite the Mestil Hotel and a walking distance from the Arena Mall in Nsamnia, not forgetting its proximity to the new Kampala flyover project. It will be a new addition to the Marriott Hotels in Uganda. The address exec. Hotel. This boutique hotel opened in July 2021 in Kampala. Less than 1 km from Lugago Mall and around a 17-minute walk from Capital Shoppers Kampala, the hotel is close to notable attractions like the Independence Monument, Uganda Golf Club, Acacia Mall. The Advance Exec. The hotel features a restaurant, bar, garden, free parking, a fitness center, family rooms, a swimming pool, airport shuttle, a terrace, and a balcony. Humura Resorts. This resort opened up in March 2021. The Humura Resort provides 21 rooms, a restaurant, free private parking, an outdoor swimming pool, a fitness center, a bar, and a garden. Its guest rooms have a flat screen TV and a terrace. Found on Katant Close, Yusuf Lowell Road, it is 1.9 km from the Independence Monument and 2 km from Nakumad Oasis. All units at Humura Resorts include air conditioning and a wardrobe. A continental breakfast is always available at the accommodation. Kamu Kamu Plaza is 2.2 km from the hotel, while Fort Luggard Museum is 2.3 km away. The nearest airport is Entebbe International, 36 km from Humura Resorts, and the property offers a paid airport shuttle service.